The competition held to showcase and encourage the use of STEM in solving societal challenges. So Obwasi Senior High Technical School claimed victory by a narrow margin of two points over their closest rival, Dabokwa Senior Technical School. It's a dream come true. We watched several documentaries and we saw that it's a very major problem. Then we went to search the data about the dialysis treatments per square kilometers in Ghana and we realized that it was in decimal, so it was really low then. We realized that it's a very good project to work on. So um, this project was actually um, there. Like the idea was there for about two years, even before we came to senior high. But you see, every when you identify every pro problem, the question you ask is how, and then how answering the how to this law. So like after we finally came up together to create this, you no, know, and then we started building, and then it was not easy because you see it's for human beings, so it has to undergo several series of testing. So like it took a very long time, and we were facing challenges with oxygen sensor inconsistency. There was no response time to parameter fluctuations. For their win, the Obwasi team received the cash prize of fifty thousand Ghana cedis, two laptops, and additional awards. The competition was tightly contested, with Dabopa Senior Technical School earning praises for their own initiative, Gen Z Pass System, aimed at solving the power generation issues, but ultimately becoming second. Yasantua girls placed third, and the Presbyterian Boys Senior High School took fourth place. Oh, I'm very happy. Because actually this is the first time Northern Region has been hyped to this level. I'm happy the Northerners are recognized this time round in STEM innovation. Back at home, whenever there is a power outage, you cannot even move on the streets because the street lights are not working and the traffic lights are not also working. So that's where we got our idea from and that's where, why we started building our project to solve all this problem. The EGN version 1. This is an energy generation system which combines vertical turbines and solar photovoltaic systems to generate energy for their users. Wow, I want them to recognize that there is something back at Northern Region that is going to imp uh, uh, develop Ghana. Speaking at the event, the Education Minister, Dr. Yao Ose Edichum, revealed the government's plan to connect these talented students with companies that can provide grants to commercialize their innovations. Fortunately, we've received about $40 million to support small businesses that are bringing about innovation. So what we are doing, we're linking up companies with Dabupai in these high schools, then they get a grant fund provided by the World Bank to go and commercialize the innovations that have been created by the school. You see, around the world, especially in the United States, we have companies whose sole job is to go around university campuses, look for innovations, and commercialize them. You don't expect the children to be the ones commercializing this. Even the processes for commercialization, they may not be able to uh, know and do. However, if we have companies that are working with them, that is where the true innovation will come. So we need to create a system that allows companies with grant money, free money, take the innovation, commercialize it, the student gets a portion of it, the school gets a portion of it, and that is the way to go. In. The top 20 schools receive cash prize ranging from 50,000 to 10,000 Ghana cities to further support the development of their initiative projects. We presented on um, environmental sustainability, that was the smart thing, and then digital technology, whereby we created an app that solves STEM related issues. Okay. It was very difficult because we are not a STEM or a technical school, we are just SHS school and mind you we are just girls trying to fall into the field of STEM. So it was very difficult to bring out either though we were having the passion but how to bring about everything was very difficult. Because this is our first time at the national category and our project is based on a rice farm which is equipped with sensors such as the moisture sensor, the flame sensor and a little security system to protect our crops from pests and intruders and also a wall purification system built and uh, which uses moringa extra to purify and deduce metallic content in the water and a powerhouse and also a delivery system which helps us deliver our product to our customers when ordered on our website.